Do you have a favorite TV show or movie that, after you've seen, you've caught yourself comparing to reality? Let's look at High School Musical, a movie that shows young children how fun and exciting it is to be in high school. Everyone has a smile on their face as they play basketball, ace their chemistry class, and perform in theater. Most importantly, whenever the characters need to express themselves, they do so by singing and dancing. For example, when Zeke has trouble telling his friends about his passion for baking, he sings about it and everyone in the cafeteria joins in. The movie also portrays a strong sense of friendship and unity between the students through the song We're All In This Together, which allows viewers to believe that they get along no matter what. Undoubtedly, those growing up watching this without having yet been to high school would have high expectations of what their experience would be like and develop a certain perception towards it. However, they would be disappointed to find that reality was nothing like the film portrayed it to be. There is almost no time for singing and dancing, and although most students are happy, there is also a lot of stress and pressure experienced. Worse still, if one randomly breaks out into song and dance, they would be considered abnormal and may be outcasted by the school. High school is not as upbeat and carefree as they grew up believing it to be, and this is related to cultivation theory. Cultivation theory was developed by Gerbner and Larry Gross in the 1970s. They researched the effects of media exposure, specifically whether the television influences the viewer's perception of reality, and if so, how. The hypothesis states that over time, viewers' perceptions of reality will be cultivated by exposure to media, especially the television, which is the most common medium worldwide. Cultivation theorists assert that heavy viewers are believed to be cultivating attitudes that believe that the world they see on TV is an accurate depiction of the world they actually live in, and that television and media possess a small but significant influence on the attitudes and beliefs of society about society. The more media absorbed, the more influenced we are. The effects of cultivation can be broken down into two orders. The first includes general beliefs about everyday life, and we will be looking at Black Mirror as an example. It is a show which makes viewers realize that in this 21st century, it is not the technology that is dangerous, but the people using it. In the episode Shut Up and Dance, it shows its audience just how risky it is to be online, and that we are almost always under surveillance. The main character, Kenny, downloads an anti-malware program onto his laptop which actually allows a hacker to record him in a compromised position through his webcam. Because of this, Kenny is blackmailed into performing various and even illegal tasks to prevent the video from being made public. As a result, many of those who watched this episode started covering their webcams with stickers to avoid being monitored. The second order includes specific attitudes. In the film Get Out, African-American photographer Chris visits his Caucasian girlfriend's family in a secluded area in upstate New York and discovers that they have been transplanting the brains of Caucasians into the bodies of African-Americans due to their incredible physique. The consciousness of the host remains in what is known as the sunken place, a state deep in the subconscious, but they are powerless. This movie heavily covers racial issues in the United States, where Caucasians are predominantly viewed as the superior race. Director Peel has stated that the sunken place reflects the suspended animation of how we look at race in America, a nation that grew out of the increasing belief that once Obama was elected president, the nation had overcome racism and had become post-racial, and also has parallels in his mind to the mass incarceration of African Americans described as a sort of modern slavery. It was a slap in the face to the very real, very relevant racial discrimination that still takes place in the United States today. Now some may ask, is cultivation theory still relevant today? The answer is yes. As we live in this digital age, we are constantly surrounded by mass media and cultivation theory has never been more relevant. According to the Connect Kids report, today's children aged between 5 to 16 spend an average of 6.5 hours in front of the TV compared with the average 3 hours in 1995. Since the media is a reflection of society and vice versa, this has majorly impacted children as they will now behave according to society's standards which may include how they communicate with each other, how they express themselves, and how they will perceive the rest of the world. Movies and TV series are still a huge part of the entertainment industry and is now more accessible than ever due to the internet and online streaming platforms such as Netflix.